We should have a segment called Real Life Questions with Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. Let's call, it, let's call, let's call, let's call it that. Yeah. Jackson's mind. Go, Jack. You rang me up this morning and you said, Dad, can we do a question on... Relationships. Breakups. Breakups. That's a big one. Because I feel what I feel is in young people, breakups can kind of make or break you a yeah. little bit. Yeah. And I feel like you're a pretty good... <laughs> role model with breakups. person to ask about it. You've been through two divorces. Pulling businesses apart... When, like, I remember I've gone through breakups and my entire life turned upside down when I think about it, it's really easy to happen because mm. you kind of just stop caring. And there's like this six month window, I think, after a breakup where the actions that you take in that time can kind of change the way your life's going to go. Yeah. What's your thoughts on breakups? Well, it's not an easy one. Everyone's different. So let's be as quick as we can on this topic. Yeah. Is this a video, Jack? Or is yeah, it a, yeah, yeah, it's a video. Right, let's be as quick as we can on it. So breakups are not easy, but there is a great saying that if the other person doesn't want to be with you let them go so there's power in letting somebody go how do you do that though because i find so many people find that really difficult like well if they don't want to be with you yeah right right all right it's like if someone doesn't really want to work for you Mm. let them go Mm. it's and here's one thing i've really learned with loss you might lose something but the universe always fills it again Mm. okay We'll never feel Logan again. That's different. That's yeah. the death of a child. It's a bit different. Yeah. But when you break up with somebody, it's hard for you because you're young. Yeah. Okay. I've spent a lot of time understanding universal laws, principles, and, and doing them. So I get to see a bit different. So my confidence levels with things like loss is way different than yours. Yeah. Because you're like, oh, what if I never get a girl that's the same? What if I do this? What if I this? Oh, what yeah. if I'm on my own? What if I'm lonely? What if I go out and I want someone to... St- Spoon. You know? <laughs> yeah. Is that yeah. all you do? Spoon? Spoon, yeah, yeah, that's it. That's all. <laughs> but I've learned that the universe always fills the void. Mm. And you wouldn't break up if you were actually meant to be together. Yeah. You wouldn't. It would go easy, right? Well, you look at my life. You know, use my life as an example. All the crap I've been through, Jack. Mm. So much. Mm. So much crap. Like yeah. people say it. You've got like all these people. lives, like you just keep going and going and going. Yeah. But look at when Tara was born. Look at when I was born. So it's 22 years apart. When I got divorced last time, very difficult leaving the second lot of kids mm. and all this sort of stuff and, you know, taking care of them. You know, well, I have a good relationship with all of, you know, Shelley, Flora Bay, all of them. Logistics of me and Tara meeting, coming together, impossible to, to manufacture. Impossible. She just walked past me one day and I was in a, a foyer of a building. She said, yeah. hi. Right. But do you know about 10 years before that, maybe eight years before that, she served me in a restaurant. Yeah, I remember you, I remember you speaking about it. And I, yeah, she served me. So I met her then. That was it, nothing. Like mm. just got on with my life. Ended up marrying her 10 years later. And now you have a baby. Now we have a baby. Yeah. And I'm very happy. When you have trust in the universe, you know it's your disappointment that blocks the... the trust path oh for sure I, I, yeah i Not can feel you, that but but in general yeah, yeah i can i can feel that yeah like especially recently yeah it's like when you're down in the dumps and you're or you're checking their instagram or you're i don't know wanting to message message yeah. them in that but the second you like let go of it and go out and just not go out but like start branching out and doing things that are good for you you feel that much better it just takes a little bit of time yeah you have to find your steadiness. So it's all about energy momentum. Yeah. So the reason that you're feeling down is because your thought pattern has created an energy momentum that's of sadness. Mm. I've lost this. What are they doing? I, you know, I want them back. All the, and that creates this huge energy momentum. It's going very fast. Mm. The best thing you can do after a breakup is stay on your own. Yeah. Just stay on your own. And don't fill it with sex objects. Mm. Like just stay on your own and apply your energy to fitness or sleep or try and find your, f- your footing again. Because mm. when you find your energetic footing again, might take a month, two, three, four, 12, whatever, you will actually become a more steady, better person. Like you'll become, if you attract somebody in the mess, you'll probably end up being a mess. Yeah. Because you're attracting people vibrationally where you are. Like attracts like. Yes, you that's right. That, yeah. So if it's like someone you met in a club and you're off your head and you're just right in the middle of the breakup and there's all this chaos, you know, chaos and drama yeah. going on, you're just bringing that forward with you. Mm. So create the person that you want your life to be first. Not easy to do, but once you get in the swing of it, it'll be good. And you'll see down the track, you'll be like in 
you know, three months' time, six months' time, you'll be feeling so steady, you'll look, look at life through different eyes completely. Mm. That's, the, that's the challenge. Right. It's not like, how do I just handle the pain? Handle the pain. Feel the pain and move on. That's what I always say. Feel the pain and move on. Yep. Feel the pain and move on. And when you do that, you build the muscle. Mm. When you find your steadiness, you actually might even want to stay on your own for a while because yeah. it feels so good. Think about the upside of staying on your own. Freedom, choice, yeah. no one nagging you, no responsibility, whatever. You know, do what you want to do. What you it's say? very weird on a weekend after a breakup going, it's like a Saturday morning and you're like, I've got all this time to do stuff. Like, yeah. Go shoot, like go this, go that, go do whatever. I think drugs and alcohol play a big role in yes. getting back together with somebody that you've broken up with, even yep. though it's probably not the best idea. Would you just say don't? Don't drink, don't take drugs. Don't it's do it. Hard to do yeah. for some people. That's just a Band-Aid and it just creates more <laughs> depression. <laughs> so you've got you to manage the out of it, like mm. the out. So it's going to take you down and then you've got to manage the art you want to consistently go one step higher every day mm. so that might be like today i'm just going to go a bit of exercise today i'm going to go to bed early today i'm going to eat really well and then you'll you'll energetically create a new you mm. so it's like your skin changes every well every quarter you have a new new skin whole body of skin yeah right but whole body of skin so mm. same with vibration you can create a new vibrational version of you very quickly over, well, over time so in a three-month block you could almost be a different person and it's funny, when you get through that impulse, you look back and go, what was I even worried about? You know, I didn't even like them that much anyway. But that's the new you. You've got to get to that. So is alcohol going to add or detract from the new you? Detract. Is the drugs going to add or detract, detract from the new you? Detract. That's right. You want to make all the choices in line with the new you. And here's the thing. If that relationship wasn't so good, and if it was good, you wouldn't have still be together. Yeah, you wouldn't be apart anyway, right? Yeah. So just see it for what it is. Don't put the filters on later and look back, as Tony Robbins says, and look at all the filters of good things in six months' time and go back there. Yeah. Because when you go back there, nine times out of ten, you'll vibrationally pick up where you were before. Give it a couple of months, you'll be back to where you were. Yeah. All right? For sure. So if you get to six months down the track and you've created this new you, you have a completely different energetic vibrational signature. So the person that you're gonna attract is completely different, completely different. And then you just, you, you almost get a bit protective of your space. And then one day you'll just be doing your thing somewhere along the line. That's why dating apps and all that, I don't know, they're, they're a good filler. I've just deleted them, yeah. Yeah, they're a good filler, but they're a distraction. It's like a game. It is. Yeah. You can't keep away, it's logistically impossible, totally against the law of the universe to not attract the right person when you're vibrationally aligned with them. So if you just go about your business, not even thinking about it, with the right intention, I'd really like the best person one day and they'll come when they come, mm. you know? Not where are they? When you're like, where are they? They're running away from you. <laughs> yeah. But when you're, they'll come when they come, I'm going to make myself the highest vibrational version of me and just be okay with that and mm. then work on your success path for life, just keep going. One day, someone's going to walk past you, look at you in the eye, go, hi, walk away, and that feeling will be something that will blow your insides apart. And you're like, I need to go find that person. Once you do, you'll see that that person was designed especially for you at that point in time. They will enhance your life, and off you go again. And then you think, what was I even worried about?